is okay. Air feedback. Uh, air. Can you hear me now? Yeah, there's there's a little bit of a delay. But... How's is that okay? Okay, cool, cool. Hey, man. Hey, I, I saw you at the Warfield uh, a couple months back. Oh, okay. You, you guys are great. Right, thanks a lot. You guys are... You know, we were kind of... Uh, of the week of shows that we did, we were breaking uh, Kenny Aronoff in. Mm-hmm. We knew he was either going to break him in or we were going to break him. And he made, he made it through the whole week of shows, so I guess he's in. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey. Anybody ever tell you you look like Seth Rogen? No, no. I I've heard. Um... Okay, okay, wait. Well, you know, we got our man. We're we're videoing some of this stuff for our website and whatever. Look at that. He does. Yeah. You kind of, you kind of got that look. You know. <laughs> a little bit a scruff going or whatever. But I anyway, we'll I I heard I look like David Cross though. We have TMZ talk. <laughs> Hey, I wanted to ask you, um, do you do you have a home studio? You know what? I did have a home studio. I recently moved uh, from my residence that I had for like 23 years. Mm -hmm. And I had a small studio there, and I have yet to really be able to set anything up uh, at my new place uh, because we just moved right, literally right before the holidays, and, and now the chicken foot's firing up. So my studio right now consists, <laughs> this is really good, of, a, of an iPod player sitting on top of a little amp with a couple of my basses there. And I mean, that's it, just so that I can uh, <laughs> I can jam the stuff on my iPod. That's my studio right now. Well, I'm sure uh, I'll get it back to, to where it was. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I have had a little home studio, you know, where I can record stuff and listen to stuff. And, mm -hmm. do, do, you write, do you write and record your own music? You know, I've got some stuff that I, that I mess around with, you know, and... Uh, uh, obviously, uh, with Chickenfoot, you know, we, I've uh, helped with some of the writing on, on some of the new stuff and and whatever. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Cool. Cool. Well, hey, you you guys were great at the Warfield, and uh, thanks a lot, man. I'm glad you enjoyed the show. That was a great yeah. show, and I actually I, I talked to you on Rockline when you were on Rockline. Yeah. I I was the one who asked you um, if you like traveling to the Bay Area for band practice. Do you remember that? And what did I say? You said you did. <laughs> he did, right? He he did. He did. I knew it. Damn it, Hagar. But uh You know, I lo I, lo I love the Bay Area. I love coming up here and visit, you know, and but but unfortunately where our studio is, uh, I'm not gonna give you an exact location, but mm -hmm. I stay five minutes away at this Sh Sheraton Hotel, which is literally right on the freeway. And so I see the hotel to the studio to the hotel, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and then I get to drive over the Bay Bridge as I'm going back to the airport and hopefully the flag on so, Cool. It's, it's, not, it's not much of a sightseeing thing, but it, it's a great area up here. You know, I know uh, close to our studio here, James Hetfield from Metallica has a, a garage, and uh, he has cars over there and stuff, so he'll come over mm -hmm. from time to time and hang out with us and stuff. So it's pretty cool to hang out here. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to Walnut Creek? Yes, I have been to Walnut Creek. Uh, uh, I forget one of the uh, manufacturers that I used to go with. Mesa Boogie Hands? No. Don't know. Uh, Dean Martin. Dean Martin? I don't know. Some, I've, I've dealt with people in the past. I've been at the Walnut Creek. Not, you know, just briefly, though. Not, mm -hmm. not to spend any uh, amount of time. Is that where you're at? Cool. That's where I am, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Actually, uh, Brad Gillis lives here from uh, Night Ranger. Oh, all right. So, cool. Does he still live there? I, I think so, yeah. Well, I think so. Tell him that Mike said hi. Cool, I cool. I haven't seen Brad in quite some time. Mm -hmm. I, I saw him in Alameda at a club one time. But, uh, He's anyway. Known, but I've known Brad got way back. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. anyway. Cool. All right, man. They're going, they're going like this. Like, All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, good to see you, and I'll see you next time. All right, John. Good time, All right, man. bye. Okay, wait. Oh, hi. I see somebody. Hey, this is Johnny. Can you hear me? Johnny. Hey. Hey, How you doing? hey, good man. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Cool. Cool. Uh, hey, man, I want to ask you um I remember when uh maybe in the in the 80s you used to um you used to work with Fat Dog at Subway. <laughs> you used to uh <laughs> a few times. You used to get guitars and stuff from him? Well, I actually taught guitar 
at the other store, maybe about half a mile away, called uh, Secondhand Guitars. Mm -hmm. Jim Larson owned that. Uh, and Fat Dog owned another place, you know, half a mile up the road there. And uh, once in a while I'd go in there. Ralph Novak used to work there. Maybe he did frets for me once. And uh, I think um, I borrowed a coral sitar from Fat Dog once for, for Steve I when they were doing... Um, Maybe Eat Them and Smile. Mm -hmm. they, they had come up. I was playing with Greg Kinn at the time, and, and uh, David Lee Roth Band came up to play at Fantasy Studios. So we were there at the same time, just in different rooms. They were in D, I was in A, and Steve was looking for choral sitar for, for some song. I forget what song it was. But I remember taking them over to Fat Dogs. That's one crazy place. I mean, for the rest of the people listening, they have no idea <laughs> how funky that shop is. But that is one funky guitar shop. I, I used I used to work there in the 90s. Is that right? And actually, when I worked there, um, Alex Skolnick taught guitar lessons. Oh, cool. So I, I heard a lot of stories from him about you. So. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That's cool. cool, man. All right, well, good to talk to you. Nice to talk to you. Yeah. yeah. Good reminiscing. Yeah. Good keep, keep rocking. All right. Thank you.